Hey guys, Anthony, 4 Before Diesel. Quick chit chat about suspension, and this one's going to be more related to the Hilux and leaf springs, but not just leaf springs, because one thing I would like to inform you of, in case you weren't aware, springs are for life, generally. Okay, so if you have a Prado or a Hilux or any other vehicle, and you're happy with the height and you're happy with the ride and this sort of thing, uh, you don't need to change your springs, okay? So the only time you need to change your springs if you wanna, you're not happy with the height, you wanna raise the height, you wanna lower the height, you wanna change the comfort of the vehicle. It also comes down to the shock absorbers. But if you've added a two inch lift or something to your Prado or your Hilux or any other vehicle, everyone, um, guess what everyone? You only do your springs once if you're happy with, um, as I said, the height and the ride. But these shock absorbers, the things with the red dust boots on them, they are wear and tear items. Um, they can last anything for, look, suspension specialists recommend changing them every 80,000 kilometers. Just quickly, I'm gonna mention again, it's part of what we call the suspension triangle, okay? Suspension triangle, that's tires, brakes, and shockers. Obviously your tires are what grip to the road or whatever surface you're on. Your brakes is what stop that when you apply the brakes, but it's not gonna, those two aren't gonna work unless you've got this one here in the red boot, or these coilovers working properly, those shock absorbers, because a spring's a spring, it bounces, right? So the shock absorber's job is to keep it in contact with the road. Now, if anybody's interested in a Hilux uh, lift kit, this is gonna be the cheapest lift kit you've ever seen, and I'll go through the details of it in the video. The video's not about that, but that's gonna be, I suppose, towards the end, although we've pretty much covered the key point, and that is that the springs, whether it be the leaf springs at the back there or the coil springs over the shockers or any other coil springs, if you're happy with the height, then they are for life. Now, already been through the importance of the shock absorber's job and the life that suspension specialists recommend change them every 80,000 k's. And they're talking on passenger vehicle cars on the road. So if you do a lot of off-road, it could be recommended that you change it a lot sooner than this. We're gonna go through, yeah, I don't know who did this setup. Look. You know, there should be a zip tie at the bottom. That's obviously broken or wasn't fitted. Doesn't matter though, no damage because all the boots were down where they're meant to be. This is only when it's fully extended that it comes out of position, right? And this thing, it's never been off-road. They didn't set it up for off-road. We'll go through um, what all this is in a moment. And they put the zip ties on the dust boots too high. It should be, those ends of those dust boots up there should be about here. And what's happened, there's a few splits and rips in the dust boots. So, Technically, look, it's not bad. You could run them like that, but ideally, you probably want them replaced to look good, but then you don't see them anyway. But look, um, if you're using it off-road, you're gonna get a lot more wear and tear, and you're probably gonna need to replace them more often. But that being said, some of the Dominson's gear we've been using, particularly the monotubes off-road, it still works as good as new after. So far, we, look, you know, that. 2019 Prado we had 60,000 k's a lot of off-road mainly off-road work and it still drove beautiful the, the shock has still controlled everything and of course we were happy with the springs so we're contemplating putting that into the next Prado when it comes along um, our next replacement Prado but we may just put a fresh set in because you know it's like you know new car new suspension or new car it's not really that old suspension let's see what we can get out of it so I just wanted to be clear, not waste your money on replacing court, because look, we're here, we like value for money. So that's why I hope you subscribe and you got the bell on. People love to save money, good, wise advice. And that's what I'm here to tell you right now is if you're gonna upgrade your suspension again, or oh, look, it's time to update it, you can change if you like, but you don't have to. The whole talk about, oh, you know, make sure you've got shockers and springs rated the same. It's kind of a bit of smoke and mirrors. Let's not go into it too much because we're gonna waste a lot of time. Let's just take a quick look at who assembled these. It wasn't me. Have a look at that. Have a look at the gap there. That spring there, that's meant to be butted up to the end. And same with this one. It's not too bad. Obviously it stayed like that for years, not a big deal. Uh, but you know, it's not perfectly done. A bit like the zip tie on the dust boots. So let's just quickly go through. For the guys, anybody's got a Hilux, this came out of our 2013 Hilux, so obviously it's no more than eight years old, but I presume that they didn't put it in straight away anyway. They probably would have got a bit of wear and tear on the suspension, whatever. So it could be, I mean, by the looks of the condition, it's about five years old, I'd say. It was mainly used on-road, 
Um, I believe they had something like a probably a few hundred litre diesel tank on the back. And um, they put the heavier suspension in, obviously, to take the load, right? So it is quite heavy duty. It's four plus two, you can see. See, there's four at the top, plus the two heavy ones. So it's what's known as four plus two. These rear leaf springs, they're about 360 bucks each. So they're not cheap, right? And as we just said, springs are for life. So these things, they're probably still worth 200 bucks each or 250 bucks each. So 500 bucks for the pair, they're probably still worth that. Coil springs are 250, 300 bucks a pair, right? Um, your struts they're about 200, 200, 250. It depends what what brand, what you know, a couple hundred bucks each, let's say, right? For these, the shockers probably 350 for the pair. Then you've got your strut tops if they're already assembled and saving you about 50 bucks of assembly. So this gear here, I don't know, that sounds like two, two and a half. I mean, a Dominson's Hilux kit is worth about two. I say about two and a half because that's talking monotubes. You've got options. They don't come with these bushes, so you've got, you buy your leaf springs, if you're a Hilux, you've got your leaf springs, you've got your coil springs, you've got your front coil overs, you've got your, I should just keep calling them struts, shouldn't I? It just keeps it simple. Anyway, one word, struts, instead of coil overs. You've got your rear shock absorbers, you've got your bushes that go in this end, you've got your bushes that go in that end, then you've got your greasable shackles, and you've got your greasable pins, and you've got your this, and you've got your U-bolts, and there's things you need, right? So... What's going to be included for sale at the end of this is pretty much what you see here. What you see here is what you get. So you've got your leaf springs worth, you know, 360 each. So there's straight away 720 bucks worth there. You've got your bushes, 750. You've got your struts, whatever, whatever the case may be. Now, I just want to be clear. This suspension was working perfectly well. We did a good bounce test on it and the control was awesome. There's no issues with this suspension whatsoever. The reason we change it is a it's not dobinson's dobinson's our brand that's why we're gonna it's not our brand is in you know that's the brand we use that's the brand we want to use we want to keep using we're very happy with we think it's the best value for money so we're not promoting saying efs is any good i don't know a lot about efs my understanding is it's a superior engineering brand would that be right i don't know you can google it and probably find out that these four plus threes probably take about a 300 kilo constant load. So if you've got an al a steel tray, so we've got an alloy tray, it's very light. So you get a hard ride. Don't get me wrong, handled bloody awesome as in, you you know, ra driving around corners, it just sat really flat with this suspension. Gave it, I would say about a 40 mil lift. It was hard to measure. I couldn't measure against anything having the alloy tray and not being familiar with it. But I would estimate looking at it, that it was about a 40 mil lift. As you load it up, it stayed the same. So yeah, 300 kilo constant load. So it's pretty good for most people. It's going to be a good spring selection. I'll show you the part number in case you are still watching and interested. So you can Google that. If you go and Google those numbers, I'm sure you'll get the info you need. You could give these a coat of paint and they'd be like bloody new again. Right? Have a good look at them. There's nothing wrong with them. Right. The struts at the front there, you can see the bottom bushes are still good. Uh, coils, you know, I wouldn't, you know. I wouldn't even worry about it. They've been like that for years, so whatever, but ideally they were meant to be fitted right. You want to save some money. Those strut tops on top, they're worth, you know, 70 bucks each, so there's 140 there. We can take those off and keep those, but, you know, the struts, the coils, the shockers, you've got basically a kit here. You need to get the bushes. See the other end there? You need to get the bushes for the, the other end. That's the uh, greasable shackle end. So this is the pin end, if you like, where you'd put your greasable pin, so you need to reuse... And this is the option. When I say the price is around about two and a half for a Hilux kit, it depends what you want to do. Do you want to reuse the... If you've got a brand new Hilux, you can reuse the Toyota bushes and reuse the bolts and everything like that. Who said you have to grease it? I didn't say that. Um, so this is what I'm saying. So when you order your Hilux kit, whether you get it any brand you like, whether from me or not, I'm here to help. So I'm trying to tell you that... Think about it. If you've got a 200,000k Hilux, then you might want to put new bushes. I'm not saying there's anything wrong because the Toyota bushes are good. But if you've got a new one, you might just want to reuse those bushes, right? Um, U-bolts, you're going to need U-bolts because they need to be longer because obviously the spring is thicker and the standard U-bolts aren't usually going to be long enough. So you need U-bolts. They're pretty cheap anyway. They're like, you know, what are they, 20 bucks or something like that. So with this kit, you would to install this kit, you could reuse all just about all the bushes. So springs would go in, you'd need new U-bolts. You could reuse all your shackles or you can put new bushes and greasable shackles at that end. The fronts are ready to go straight in. They're already assembled, ready to go, saving you heaps of time. DIY style. This is pickup only, guys. Pickup only. The rear shock is working well. Like I said, gave them a good bounce test. You can leave these boots as they are. All I would do is cut the zip tie at the top there. 
because they go let me get this right before I say it. Yeah, is this the top? They're going upside down. Yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, they're going upside down. So this is the top. Don't get me wrong. I think they fit both ways. But best run upside down. Um, unless I'm making a mistake here. And I'm pretty sure, no, this is the top. Did I just say this is the top? Whatever. Right? You know, we'll work that part out. I can't remember how they were in there. Like I said, pretty sure they can go either way. So we have to suss that out, don't we? I'm pretty sure this is the top is how they came out. Boots at the top. Yeah, that'd be right. So the standard way, they're not upside down. So what I would do is put a new zip tie. So you cut that zip tie there and there. You let, allow that boot to slide up. You can't see any cracks or splits in here, can you, right? You know, they look all right at the moment. So if I pull on it, you see it opens up, right? There's a couple of, uh, couple of you know, whatever. It's not a big deal, but you can replace them. Well, you can cut the zip ties and you just let that come up the shock absorber and it's not going to, it's going to come at the body. It's not even going to slip off because look where it's sitting naturally without the top being. And I can tell you, if I pulled that up to there, then the bottom is going to slide without the zip tie. It's not even going to go past the top of the body because it's, I'll show you what I mean, right? It's kind of like, right, there's the edge right there. Why don't you look at the distance? You work it out, right? So the distance, that distance from there to there right is more than that distance there to there so therefore what i prefer is if this is the top for example zip tying the top and don't worry about the bottom too much i mean you can if you like but zip tie it at the end of the tube so that when it stretches its legs it's not stretching and that's why it would be damaged because it's been pulled on too much because someone that doesn't know what they're doing zip tied it down there anyway guys good suspension here if anybody's interested mate we're going cheap what do we got here so the springs are Three, six, what I say, seven hundred. These struts to buy those assembly like that about four hundred bucks each. So that's about eight hundred, right? So eight hundred plus what did I say over there? Seven hundred plus the shockers. So eight hundred plus seven hundred is fifteen hundred plus the shock absorbers are probably eight hundred seven hundred. So we're about what are we? Somewhere under two grand anyway, mate. Cash price? What do you reckon? Uh, open to offers anyway but i'm pretty well happy to give it away for whatever the springs are worth and you get this gear for free or 600 bucks mate six seven hundred best offer let's see put it in the comments it's pick up melbourne area pick up in victoria we can work it out no big deal um just let me know right if you're interested or if you just like the video hit the like button because it was about suspension um efs brand like I said, I don't know a lot about it. I don't see it in many vehicles. I've got a client who put it in a Prado and he had a lot of issues. The first set leaked, he got them replaced pretty quickly under warranty and he uh, put another set in and guess what? They're leaking as well. So maybe don't use them in the Prado. I do know one other person years ago that was using them that wasn't happy, you know. The way they drove the vehicles, hammering the vehicles, they wouldn't be happy with anything. It was like, you know, this is crap. That's, it's all, it was all rubbish, right? All rubbish suspension. Suppose I better add also, so the Hilux has got a steel bull bar and the measurement from the bottom of the seven inch rim to the to the edge of the flare was 780. So I would suggest these springs here are probably for, a, you know, sort of 780 to 100, 120, 130 kilo constant load to give you about a 40 mil lift. So my belief is you're getting about a, probably a 40, I mean, I was probably getting a 50 mil lift because I had no weight in the rear so you're going to expect to get about a 40 mil lift out of the rear right 300 kilo constant load you got to work out what your load is and all that sort of thing um and the front about a 40 mil lift which is what we recommend 30 to 40 you know about 40 works well in the protos and the hiluxes ifs remember you know you don't want to go too far because then you're just fully extended the other good thing about this kit is i noticed the rear shockers and the front shockers were about the same fully extended open length as the Dobinsons, which I believe are a good good lengths. So um, I reckon it's a just awesome value for money for someone, whatever. If nobody buys it, well, it'll sit here, and you know, some one day, someone, somewhere, somehow, it will go. But uh, yeah, like I said, guys, pick up only if you're in Victoria somewhere. It's not a big hurry thing, but you know, we want it gone within you know a couple few weeks or something. Let's say end of January as a plan. If you're excited and you just wanted a lift kit for your Hilux and you thought you had to spend two, two and a half, three grand, which you generally do, and you just found this for six, seven hundred bucks because you watched to the end, then happy days. Loyal subscribers win. Don't forget we're going to have that Century battery as a prize once I pull my finger out and work that out. We're also going to be open on Monday the 10th.
for uh, parts day for the morning, 8 a.m. till midday. So send us your text message. Text messages only. The phone doesn't ring. Thanks for watching, guys. What else can I tell you about suspension? The lengths are good. This is all working well. I'm not going to sell you any rubbish that's stuffed. It was just a hard ride. We had a hard ride. We didn't have enough weight in the rear. Particularly at rear was the big problem. A heavy-duty spring with an alloy tray. It was terrible. And I'll tell you, the Dominsons have transformed the vehicle. Of course, the monotubes are probably a little bit better ride than these as well. But I don't think you'll think this is a bad ride. Particularly if you've got a, a steel bull bar and a winch, I think these will probably work really well. And you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. So if you haven't got two, two or three grand, or you don't really want to spend two or three grand on your old Hilux, this is some really good value money gear here. At, like we said, what, 600 as a minimum at the moment. I'd like to get seven or 800 if we can. But, you know, whatever. Happy day, as long as someone wins in the end. And as long as everybody knows, don't keep replacing springs or these. And this is what you do with the old ones. Make sure they go to someone else. Keep a hold of them. Don't just leave them at the place you went to to change them or whatever because they can go to someone else because although these didn't suit my vehicle and my needs, these leaf springs, tell you what, somebody's going to love them. And the other thing is I believe all this gears, I don't, like I said, I don't know a lot about EFS. I believe it's a superior engineering brand. It could be wrong. Correct me in the comments. And this looks like it's probably Australian made. And I'd take a guess at, I don't do a lot of Hilux suspension, but this could be these leaves could be made by King Springs. These coils could be King Springs. And these could be Monroe. So look, the uh, the manufacturer looks very much like the uh, Monroe Tenneco in South Australia. I'm pretty confident they could be that. They look a lot like it, right? Um, right that's what it is. And see the writing on there. I don't know if you can see the part number for what coil it is. For those that are interested. Hard to read, isn't it? But you might be able to work out what those numbers are. So I'll just move it around a bit for you. The other one's even worse than this one. So, right, but we'll go for it anyway. Right, try and get it at all the different angles. So you can try and... But look, I'm confident that... I don't know how many they've got listed, whatever. Looks like a TPR something or other whatever but you know there you go all right you know i've got all the different angles for you so you can pause it rewind it and try and figure it out anyway and the strut tops look good as well there's no nuts on those right just so you know you get some reuse the ones that you've already got in there whatever the case may be i like the genuine ones best anyway i'm not sure what happened anyway that's the video guys thanks for watching subscribe turn the bell on hope you liked it here's a bargain here for someone really um I'm negotiable. If people don't want to pay that, we'll probably let it go for less, but it just seems, you know, no point giving it away because we've got a 700 and whatever dollars worth of just leaf springs here. So if they're worth 600 and the rest is free, I reckon you've got to be happy. If they're worth 600 and the rest is 100, I reckon you've got to be real happy with that. I better put the video out so you can have a look at it. Like I said, everything here you can read. The only thing you have to buy is U bolts. You can reuse your nuts on there. You can reuse all your bushes, or you can go buy some greasable shackles if you want. But in my opinion, you don't need any of that anyway. When with a Hilux kit, all you need is your springs, your U bolts, what you see at the front here. You don't need the strut tops. Strut tops if you've got a spring compressor. You basically need only what you see here. You don't even need those bushes. But you can reuse those. All you need is what you see here, minus the strut tops, add the U-bolt is your cheapest lift kit. Sometimes you need a little brake adjuster there, like 10 or 15 bucks or something. Um, just depends what vehicle, how high it ends up and that sort of thing. And obviously later vehicles, so I should say this is for a uh, KUN 26R, came out of, you know, it's any of the 05 to, you can, you can put it in a dual cab, single cab. Single cab you'll be able to take about... 400 kilos because of the less weight at the cab and the setup of everything but there's the part number for the springs you can go and search that up confirm everything i've said thanks for watching bit of a long video yeah catch us later hopefully someone gets excited and put it in the comments you'll find the phone number it's listed here there and everywhere first in best address you should already have it uh stored on the phone so it's not first in actually it's you know we're going to take if there's a few people interested you know we're you know it's, we're going to have a bit of an auction. There you go. So it's about that. If you come in offering 500, 
Don't expect me to say yes straight away because I'm going to wait and see if somebody wants to pay six or seven hundred. Is the asking price six or seven? You know how they give you a bracket on the house. You know that it's seven hundred and eighty thousand to uh, eight hundred and fifty. Well, that's what this is. It's six to seven hundred. But then again, like when they give you that bracket, if someone wants to pay a million, then that's what it goes for. If someone hits me saying, "Mate, I reckon you've got an awesome value for money kit there. I want to give you eight hundred. The first person to give me an offer like that is going to get it. And then the five or six hundred is going to miss out, right? So the asking price is six to seven hundred dollars. <laughs> See ya.